What is going on, everybody? It's your boy, Titanic Feet Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. I would like to welcome everyone back to the channel. How y'all doing? What is going on with you guys? Anybody new out there watching for the very first time, I'd like to welcome you to the channel as well. And if you like the content that you're watching, go ahead and sub up to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Also, turn on your post notifications so you'll be notified every time I upload a video right here on this channel. I need everyone that's watching to smash that like button. Hit that like button and help the channel grow, and I really would appreciate it. Now, today we're here to talk about a little situation. We have Jordan 1s actually sitting in the mall, multiple restocks. If you want to, you can get multiple pairs of these, and I just can't figure out why. Are you guys not feeling these Jordan 1s? I mean, Jordan 1s is the original Jordan. And this specific Jordan that I speak of comes from the metallic pack that released back in 85, 86 time frame. But I thought I'd never see the day that a Jordan 1 would be sitting on the shelves in the store. Comment below, guys. Let me know what are your thoughts on this. Why do you think this Jordan 1 is still sitting in the store? And when I'm talking about the Jordan 1, it's a couple pairs that I'm speaking of specifically, but today we're gonna dive into only one of them. And today we're gonna look at this one. Y'all see the box, it's a dead giveaway. They read that box label. I'm gonna read it to you. It says, Women's Air Jordan 1 High OG, color white, coat purple. Size, a women's size nine which is a men's size seven and a half. And the price is 170 US dollars. Take off the box top. Yes, you see that lock stamp right here. Look at your tissue paper. There's the Jumpman logos all over your tissue. It looks like a cloudy colored tissue. have the women's Air Jordan 1 coat purple. Let's get the other sneaker out. Here it goes. Let's look inside the box. No green and white sticker inside the box. But here we have it. The cold purple, Jordan 1, the women's edition. Let's go in. Yes, guys, we have the women's Air Jordan Retro 1, cold purple. Let's get into it. This shoe is made on an all white base. And you have some pretty good soft tumble leather on here. Shout out to Jasmine Christmas. That's Michael Jordan's daughter. She's doing great work over there at Jordan Brand for the women's sneakers. Women have been getting some great looking sneakers. And I'm gonna be one of the first to tell you when they come out in extended sizing and I like the shoe, I get it because those sneakers have been on point. Materials, quality, and everything. But this one here, is it draws a 
interest from the uh, metallic pack that came out back in the day. We had the cold purple, the red, the orange, and the green. So this is a, another alliteration of that, in my opinion. But you have that all white base, like I said. You have the cold purple swoosh, your cold purple Air Jordan branding on here, and you have your cold purple going around your ankle, your midsole, white midsole, with a cold purple at the very bottom, which leads to the outsole. Cold purple jaw going outsole. Looking at the back of the sneaker, you got that glossy cold purple finish going around your ankle. And you can see a little bit you have satin material on the inside of the sneaker for your sock liner. Looking at the medial side, more of that tumble white leather on here. You got your cold purple swoosh coming from the other side. Your cold purple hit right here. You have white midsole, cold purple at the very bottom. And let's go ahead and get that shoe tree out. Here's your shoe tree, says size seven to seven and a half. Jaw and jaw brand logo, called gold shoe tree. Nothing special. Let's go ahead and tuck that in. Here's your leather on your toe box. This is some pretty good leather, nice and tumble, guys. Comes with one pair of laces. I'm sorry, comes with a couple pair of laces. You have the white flat laces that it comes with. Also, you have the coat purple that you see here in this bag. Pretty sure everyone is gonna put the coat purple laces in these. You have a tumbled leather tongue all the way up, and you have your Nike Air woven patch. It's white coat purple uh, writing on here. Spin it around. You have satin cold purple material on the back side of your tongue and like I said earlier you have a satin cold purple sock liner move these laces out of the way you have a cold purple insert with white Nike Air branding let's get a good look at that sizing tag women's US size 9 production date October 14th of last year to November 26th of last year guys so comment below ladies let me know what y'all think of this sneaker did you guys cop this sneaker do you still have any aspirations for this sneaker because it is available for retail in most places guys so i know a few guys cop these me personally i like them but even if they did come in extended sizes i would not cop Due to my shoe size, size 14 and Jordan 1s, this would not be a great look on my feet. So I would have to respectfully pass on these. But they did a good job with this pair of sneakers. Let me know what y'all thoughts are on this sneaker. And before I let y'all go, like I always tell y'all, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker. Because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack. I'm signing out.